Exactly. Out of ten students, I have nine failures. Very sorry, I'm right. Congratulations. You're getting ten out of ten. <laughs> right, uh, what did you do, Suli? Spent time lighting. Lighting what? Lighting book. Oh, a book. <laughs> what sort of book are you like writing? It's called The Democratic Way of Life. All about glorious freedom loving Chinese. I see. A work of fiction. <laughs> In China, rules are not important. It is blames and interact that matter. Absolutely. Yeah, Su Li is right. Vi women are not symbols for sex. You agree, Jamila? I know understanding. Vi women are not here to give the men the pleasure. I like give men pleasure. <laughs> Tonight, we're going to look at sentence construction. Now, can anybody give me a, a definition of a sentence, please? Me, please. Yes, Suli. A sentence is a group of words that makes complete sense. Very good. For example, communism is only true way of life. Thank or you. capitalists are enemies of peace loving people. Or China will yeah, I think you'll make your point, Suli. <laughs> right, now, say. China! <laughs> Is that your national costume? This is uniform of People's Army of Rehabilitation, as prescribed by Chairman Mao. Mm. You not like it? Well, I think it lacks a certain uh, finish, a belt of ammunition, a couple of hand grenades. <laughs> now, he was succeeded by his third son, William Rufus, the Red King. Oh, blimey. You are having a communist king? <laughs> no, no, he was called the Red King because of his red hair. Jolly good. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody tell me what a debate is? Come along, Suli, what is Parliament noted for? Corrupt politicians who make laws to oppress working classes. <laughs> Agreed. Well, that's what we call debating. OK, we take the vote. Everybody think TV's OK, put up at our hands. Everybody think TV's not OK, put up at our hands. Ah, we call it a draw. Class dismiss! He will see his mother. But Master G, he was going to be catch plane on Saturday. How will he get £100 before then? Well, we'll get it for him, even if we have to beg, borrow or steal it. Yes. 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 <laughs> Su Lee, <coughs> what is a green belt? What you wear with your green dress. <laughs> A green, a green belt is an area of land on which you're not allowed to build. Build. <laughs> Jamila, Giovanni. Oh, it's got to be Suli or you, Professor. Suli. But who are you to be sitting next to, Professor? We win! You win! You win! You win! You win! You win! You win! We not have time. Mr. Brown, he be here pretty prompt. You flight and you ruse. Eh, I beat you blinded fold. Lighty ho, let's see you get double the top with your eyes closed. Easy, easy. <laughs> closed. A one, a two. <laughs> we I was trying to get that in top. Looks like you get it in the bottom. <laughs> hey, why don't we have a party? That's a good idea. Everybody come. Flight lights. Ch hey, Professor, he's not out of here. Hey, he's not in the bathroom. Well, he's not out there either. Maybe he decided to sleep at YMCA after all. Mm. Nah, his bag is still there. He said he was going to have a bath. <laughs> 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 Uh, but I tell me, you two are going to the pictures too. No, not so. Uh, Sully and Emil. Go to bed. Oh. <laughs> Where you come? Not together. Uh, I go home to read little lead book. Uh, uh, I go sleep home. Yes. Oh. <laughs> 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 Too much sake. Too much sake. Hope you have present night. Yeah. Ciao. Tom is cane. Another war. Another war. Caroline Suli, if you wish to argue, at least argue in English. Ah, so. <laughs> Come this way. Making peace.
people. Slaveries. You are typical stupid capitalists. You and other imperial glasses will be overthrown when revolution comes. So this Lang family. Another, another one. Come on, Sharon. Suli, it's time you both learnt to live together in peaceful coexistence. China always prepared to live peacefully. Well, let's make a start in the classroom, shall we? In future, no more ideological arguments. Now, are you willing to make a truce, Taro? Yes, sir. I apologize. What's wrong, Monsieur? Hey, what's happening? Well, Taro and Su Li have decided to live together in harmony. Is that like living in sin? <laughs> no, Daniel. We are making trousseau. A trousseau? You're getting married. When is a happy day? Not trousseau. Trousseau. <laughs> yeah, well, what Taro means is that uh, he and Su Li have decided to have no more political arguments. Ah, oh, d'accord. In harmony, yes. Oh, good. Well, Su Li, I don't suppose there's really much you can add to all that, is there? Oh, yes, I can. Very devious Russian agent, master of karate, overpowers British agent. Hi, hi, hi! <laughs> Lands outside where helicopter waiting to take him to safety, fries off the running glad. <laughs> Very good. Well, it's not exactly Alistair McLean, but well done, everybody. Well, what about you, Suli? Aren't you eligible for the other ticket, too? Not me. Western dancing, decadent art form, not worthy of consideration by Chinese Republic. <laughs> Uh, well, that narrows. Uh, Su Li, your task was a visit to Petticoat Lane. Petticoat Lane, very disappointing. Oh, why was that? Not see one petticoat. <laughs> <laughs> petticoat Lane is just the name of the place. Look, don't you find marketplaces interesting? Marketplaces full of capitalistic traders selling inferior merchandise to ignorant working classes at inflated prices. Chairman Mao, he always. Never mind what Chairman Mao says. <laughs> Thank you, Su Li. Well done. Right. Uh, and now, from China, with something peculiarly Chinese, will you welcome Miss Chung Su Li? Chairman Mao, he say. <gasps> in the conditions prevailing in China today, the contradictions among the people comprise the contradictions among the working classes, the contradictions among the peasantry, the contradictions... Stop. This is supposed to be a school concert, not a party political broadcast. Can't you sing or anything? I can sing song of revolution. Oh, no. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, for your entertainment, here is Jeremy Brown and his United Nations. <laughs> Thank you.